good evening students let us continue our problems on uh, radian measure let us have a look at the next question the question is find the angle in radian through which a pendulum swings if the length is 75 centimeter and the tip describes an arc of length 15 centimeter a pendulum you know what i mean by a pendulum you must have studied this in physics so this is a fixed point one pendulum is attached to it you must have seen this in some clocks okay so where that pendulum will swing in this way it will come to this position this is the last point and then it will go in this way and reach this point and it will rotate in in this way it will oscillate in this way okay it swings in this way right now we are asked to find the angle in radian through which a pendulum swings if the length is 75 centimeter length is 75 centimeter means that is the length of the pendulum okay so length of the pendulum is 75 cent. this is the length this is the pendulum so it is at this position then after some point it will come here and after some time it will go here so it will oscillate in this way right so this length is 75 centimeter okay and the tip this is the tip of the pendulum pendulum not to the tip of the pendulum it describes an arc of length 15 centimeter so it will go in this way and come to this position okay let us say this is here okay these are the two ends of that its swing so this is a pendulum it will swing in this way okay and while swinging it in that way it forms an arc it forms an arc here you can imagine the length the length of this pendulum as the radius of a circle you can draw one circle here so if i draw one circle of this kind then this 75 centimeter that will become the radius of that circle there forms an arc here actually this pendulum will not go in this way it will swing only till here so this portion is the arc of this bigger circle right now the length of the pendulum that will be the radius of that circle the tip of the pendulum describes an arc of length 15 centimeter that is what they have given so this is the length of the arc that length of the arc is 15 centimeter then the question is find the angle in which in radian through which the pendulum swings so this is the angle this is the center of the circle and this angle let me call it as theta that theta we have to find out now okay length of the arc is given radius is given you have to find theta you know the formula l is equal to r into theta from this we can write yeah, theta is equal to l by r in this case l is equal to 15 centimeter and r is equal to 75 centimeter so l is equal to r theta from there we can write theta is equal to l by r so that will be equal to 15 by 75 that is equal to 1 by 5 it is in radians anyway this formula is derived by considering theta is in radians only so theta is equal to l by r which is 1 by 5 radians okay that is the answer let us go to the next question now. The minute hand of a watch is 1.5 centimeter long. How far does it tip move in 40 minutes? The minute hand of a watch is 1.5 centimeter long. How far does it tip move in 40 minutes? Minute hand of a watch. Let me consider a watch here. Watch, a clock. So, here is 12, 3, 6, 9. Okay. So, a watch looks like this, right? It has uh, a minute hand, an hour hand, and a second hand also. Hand, gante mullo, nimishad mullo, second in mullo. Okay. So, how far does it uh, tip the minute hand? 
it is its length is 1.5 centimeter long okay now let's imagine uh, let us consider one time let us say now the time is what 6:10 or 5:10 suppose so or let me take 5 o'clock easy to understand the minute hand will be here okay and where will be the hour hand at 5 at 5 o'clock your watch will look like this right i mean everybody's watch should look like this at 5 o'clock now the question is the minute hand is 1.5 cm long okay this is the minute hand this is the hour hand so this length is 1.5 cm the minute hand is of length 1.5 cm how far does it tip move in 40 minutes in 40 minutes how much it's a tip move that's the question tip this is the this is the minute hand this is the tip of the hand tip of the minute hand after 40 minutes from now see now the time is 5 o'clock after 40 minutes from now what happens the time will be 5 40 right so at that point this minute hand will go in this direction and will come to this position right of course the hour hand also will move it will move closer to 6 right something like this at 5 40 our clock will look like this but we are not interested between the not interested to find the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand our interest lies in finding the length of that arc see i am just concentrating on the minute hand let us say at 5 o'clock the minute hand will be here at 12 at 5 40 the minute hand will be at 8 okay we are not bothered about where will be the hour hand so let us remove this do not do it from your watch though okay so just from this diagram i will remove this uh, hour hand okay at 5 o'clock the minute hand is at 12 at 5 40 the minute hand minute hand is at 8 okay so it has taken 40 minutes to travel from here to here right the question is how far does it tip move in 40 minutes so it's tip say at 5 o'clock it will be here at 5 5 it will be here 5 10 5 15 5 20 5 25 in this way so it's tip the tip of the minute hand in 40 minutes how much does it move so what is the length of that arc they are asking so let me draw the redraw that here again so it will be like this at 5 at 5 40 it will be like this now the question is what is the length of this arc this is the path traced by the tip of the minute hand so what is the length of this arc they are asking this is given its length 1.5 centimeter so this is also 1.5 centimeter only this will be the radius of that circle this arc length we have to find out this will become theta right are you following this this angle will become theta this is r so you have to find out l you know the formula l equal to r theta okay so r we know but we don't know what is theta let us find out what is theta you know the total angle in a circle is how much total angle in a circle is 360 degree in terms of radians because we want it in, in terms of radians in terms of radians it will be 2 pi radian as you know pi radian equal to 180 degree therefore 2 pi radian equal to 360 degree right so in 60 minutes the minute hand nimisha the mullo the minute hand in 60 minutes it covers an angle of 360 degree or in terms of radians it is 2 pi radians right in 60 minutes it covers an angle of 2 pi radians so what it will do in 40 minutes in for, in 40 minutes how much angle does it cover that is what we have to find out now okay so in one hour one hour say from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock this minute hand will go in this way and come back to 12 okay so now so that means it covers one full circle in one hour in other words in 60 minutes it covers one full circle so in 60 minutes it covers an angle of 2 pi radian therefore in 40 minutes it covers how much angle that is what we have to do it so 40 into 2 pi divided by 60 okay 2 ones are 
to 3 sir. So, that will be equal to 4 pi by 3. So, it covers an angle of 4 pi by 3. This theta is equal to 4 pi by 3. Well, what we need to find out? R they have given, R is equal to 1.5 centimeter. We want the length of how far does it tip move in 40 minutes. So, length of that arc we have to find out. So, L is equal to R into theta. R is 1.5 into 4 pi by 3. Okay. So, this will be equal to 2 pi. 1.5 into 4 that is equal to 6, 6 pi by 3 that is equal to 2 pi, 2 pi or if you want you can write 2 into 3.142 that is equal to 6.284 centimeter. This is the length of that arc that means this is the uh, so, in 40 minutes, the tip of the minute hand will move 6.28 centimeter. Okay. Next question. The minute hand of a clock is 2.1 centimeter long. How far does its tip move in 40 minutes, uh, in 20 minutes this time? Okay. Very similar to the previous question. So, here this is a different clock of course, but I will retain the same diagram. The minute hand of a clock is 2.1 centimeter long, 2.1 centimeter. How far does its tip move in 20 minutes? So, in 20 minutes let us imagine 5 o'clock and 520. Okay. So, at 520 the minute hand, I am only interested in the minute hand. So, at 520 the minute hand will be at 4. So, what is the angle covered here? Okay. And how far does it tip move in 20 minutes? Let me redraw it. See, initially it is here, the minute hand. After 20 minutes, the minute hand will be here. So, then uh, what is that uh, angle covered? What is the length of this arc? That is what we have to find out. For that, first we shall find out this theta. Radius, this length of the minute hand will act as the radius of that circle. So, radius is equal to 2.1 centimeter. Now, we have to find out uh, theta first and then L. Theta, see like what we did in the earlier problem, there uh, uh, we wanted to find the angle uh, covered by that minute hand in 40 minutes. Now, we want it in 20 minutes, 20 minutes what happened? 60 minutes are 2 pi radians. So, 20 minutes uh, how much? 20 into 2 pi divided by 60, 21s are 23s are. So, the answer is 2 pi by 3 radians. Theta is equal to 2 pi by 3. L is equal to R into theta 2.1 into 2 pi by 3. 2.1 by 3 that will give you 0 0.7. 0 0.7 into 2 1.4 into 3.14. Okay. You just multiply that. So, that is equal to 14, 4 is our 56, 5 is remaining, 14 into 1 is 14 plus 5, 19, 1 is remaining, 14 into 3 is 42 plus 1, 43, okay, 1, 2, 3. So, the answer is 4.396 centimeter, 4.396 centimeter is the answer. Next, the angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 is to 8. Find them in radians. Angles of a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral and no chaturbuja. Angle and kona. Chaturbuja. Angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 is to 8. Find them in radians. Okay. So now consider a quadrilateral. Any quadrilateral. So, you can consider a rectangle, you can consider a square, you can consider any quadrilateral. I am interested in the knowing what is the sum of the four angles in any quadrilateral. Sum of the four angles in any quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree. Yavde one chatur bujada, yalla kona galan kooshidre, yen sikthu. Adar motta ishtu, yalla kona galan motta 
ಒಂದು ಚತುರ್ಭುಜದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೋನಗಳ ಮೊತ್ತ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಮುನ್ನೂರ ಅರವತ್ತು ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಟರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟ್ರಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಕೋನಗಳು ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಈ ಅನುಪಾತದಲ್ಲಿವೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದೋಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಕ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪೈ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ ವೈ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಮ್ ಇನ್ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪೈ ನಾ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ದಮ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟು ಪೈ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಪೈ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಏಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಪೈ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ವೈಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೆಂಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ what is the angle subtended by the arc at the center a circular wire of radius 3 cm is cut and bent again into an arc of a circle of radius 15 cm a circular wire of radius 3 cm consider a circular wire okay so this is one circle with this radius 3 cm this is cut and bent again idil cut maartire cut maadi bend maartire it is cut and bent again so as to form an arc of another circle okay so idanil cut maadi bend maartire bend maadid mele that becomes the arc of a circle okay so we are cutting it here and bending it so as to form an arc of a circle Okay, this is the arc of that circle. This will be the center of that circle. This is the sector. This is the arc length. This is the radius. This is the arc length. I will take it as L. And the angle is theta. Okay. See here, they have given a circular wire of radius 3 cm. What we are doing, is, doing here is, we are cutting this wire. and bending that wire so as to form that arc of another circle whose radius is 15 cm this r is equal to 15 cm don't get confused between sir what is that r what is this r this is the initial r initial circle circular wire its radius is 3 cm that we have cut and bent again to form and we place it here to form an arc of a circle now i am interested to know what is this l what is this arc length can you tell me here we have one circle of radius 3 cm a circular wire of radius 3 cm we are cutting that and uh, forming an arc of uh, another circle so that length of that arc
r into theta and what do you want theta theta is equal to l by r l is 6 pi r is 15 that is equal to 2 pi by 5. So, theta is equal to 2 pi by 5, 2 pi by 5 radians is the answer. Okay. Now, uh, these many problems are enough here. From your textbook, uh, you look at the textbook in that uh, third chapter is trigonometric functions you in that you look at the first exercise and the worked examples just before that exercise 3.1 and the worked examples before that i have solved some of the problems you try the remaining problems whatever that i have not solved if you have any doubts uh, you can ask post your doubts uh, in our whatsapp group okay now i'll go to the next concept trigonometric functions okay trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios you have already studied these things uh, in your uh, high school still uh, let us recall them the basic definition of all the trigonometric functions all these trigonometric functions are defined on a right angled triangle let me consider a right angled triangle right angled triangle andre lamba kona tribuja okay so, I will call this as A, B, C, a right angled triangle. So, this angle is 90 degree obviously. The side that is opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse. Okay. So, the side that is opposite to right angle is called the hypotenuse. Okay. Now, I will consider this angle as theta. Okay, angle A, C, B, I am calling that as theta. Okay, then the side that is opposite to this angle, this is the side which is opposite to this angle, that side is called opposite side and the other, other one which is remaining that is called adjacent side. So, in a right angle triangle, hypotenuse is always fixed always the one which is opposite to the right angle that is called the hypotenuse no doubt about it whether this is opposite side or adjacent side depends on which angle you choose if you are considering this angle then for this angle this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side instead of choosing the angle here in case if i am considering this angle a then for this angle this side will become opposite and this will become adjacent did you understand? Very easy to remember. Whatever the angle that we consider, its opposite side is considered as opposite side and the one along with it uh, which is called adjacent side because there is only one left. Uh, obviously, hypotenuse is fixed. Okay? So, that much you know. Opposite side, the opposite to this angle. Okay? This is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent side. So, now with this right angle triangle, the six basic trigonometric functions are defined. First one is sin theta, sin theta, actually it is sin S I N E. In short form, we write it as, we write it like this, you have to read this as sin theta. You should leave some small gap between them, do not write like this, okay. You know, some students will write like this, so leave some small gap between them between n and theta. I said a small gap, but do not leave this much gap, okay. So, sin theta, then that is defined as opposite by hypotenuse, I will write here, sin theta, sin theta, that is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. In this diagram, it is a b by a c. The next one is cosine theta, cosine theta in short form we call it as it is popularly known as cos theta that is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse, adjacent side divided by hypotenuse which means BC by AC, BC by AC. 
and next one is tangent theta tangent theta in short form we write it as tan theta tan theta is defined as opposite side divided by the adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side means here ab by bc the next one is secant theta secant theta in short form we denote it as sec theta or secant theta sec theta that is defined as hypotenuse divided by adjacent hypotenuse by adjacent which is equal to ac by bc the next one is cosecant theta cosecant theta that is equal to cosec theta that's equal to cosec theta is defined as hypotenuse divided by opposite hypotenuse divided by opposite that's equal to ac by ab hypotenuse by opposite then finally cotangent theta cotangent theta in short form we denote it as cot theta we read this as cot theta cot theta is equal to adjacent divided by opposite adjacent by opposite which is equal to bc by ab bc by ab okay so now these are the six basic trigonometric functions you don't remember sin theta is equal to ab by ac cos theta is equal to bc by ac i don't advise that because uh, no, this notation even of ABC, if I take it in this order, ABC, then everything will go wrong. So, I advise you to remember sin theta as opposite by hypotenuse, cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse and so on. Okay. Now, from this, we observe that cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta. The cosecant theta and uh, sin theta, they are reciprocals of each other. You just observe, sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse, whereas cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse by opposite. They are the reciprocals of each other. Similarly, uh, secant theta is equal to 1 by cos theta. Secant theta is equal to 1 by cos theta. Secant theta, you observe here, secant theta is hypotenuse by adjacent and here you have adjacent by hypotenuse. They are reciprocals of each other. Then cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta. Cot theta is uh, adjacent by opposite and uh, tan theta is uh, opposite by adjacent. They are reciprocals of each other. And further, tan theta is also equal to sin theta by cos theta. Tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. Observe sin theta by cos theta, if I divide this, here you have opposite by hypotenuse, divided by adjacent by hypotenuse, hypotenuse, hypotenuse gets cancelled, you will be left with opposite by adjacent, which is nothing but tan theta, okay, tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta, similarly, cot theta is equal to cos theta by sin theta, all these things are very well known to you, but uh, uh, still, just I want to recall them. Okay, so these are the definitions and these are the relation between uh, those uh, trigonometric functions. Okay, students, with this I will stop today's class. Uh, in the next class, uh, we will see in which quadrant, uh, which of these six trigonometric functions, when they are, where they are positive, where they are negative, all those things we shall discuss in our next class. Thank you.